Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown battle. These little cuties you see here are um, a new team that I have not shown on YouTube yet. Um, my team is the one that's facing you, so you get to see their cute little faces when they battle my opponent. And uh, my Pokemon are Pancham, Natu, uh, Minchino, whoops, uh, Electrike, Piplup, and Cranidos. Um, a lot of these Pokemon hit hard as babies, and they just look adorable. And then my opponent has Zorua, Eevee, Murkrow, Snivy, uh, Ponyard, and another Piplup. So you get double the Piplup power cuteness in this battle. Um, looking at my opponent's team, you know, I'm just completely unfamiliar with Little Cup anyway, so I don't really know what to expect out of everybody, but I imagine Ponyard acts just the way as Bisharp does. Murkrow um, was interestingly uh, banned from Little Cup last generation, I believe, um, because of its prankster shenanigans, and it's actually a really great Pokemon to use in normal situations, especially in doubles. Zorua is just like Zoroark. It gets illusions, and I'm a dum-dum because I didn't really expect it to... I mean, I didn't. it didn't really click that, oh, this guy's going to be a lead. Eevee uh, has adaptability and can hit hard um, with its normal type attacks. Snivy, I don't know what it can do. And Piplup, um, just based on mine, mine has a few attacks as well as Stealth Rocks, so I pretty much assumed that that Piplup was going to be exactly like mine, because that's really all I could do. Um, but let's get on with this battle, and um, try not to die from all the cuteness that happens when I press Start. Alright, so my opponent uh, starts off with Piplup. And I use my Pancham, just like I use my Pangoro. I decided to parting shot out into my Natu because I assumed that just like my Piplup, that one had Stealth Rocks as well. And so I wanted to bounce them back to my opponent's team. And then this happened, a nasty plot, and I was like, oh my gosh, this guy had a Zorua, and that is who it is. So I did not even try to switch out Natu because I deserved to have a Pokemon faint due to my stupidity. So I brought Pancham back in because I figured that Zorua couldn't do much to Pancham um, since I don't know of any move that can be used to super effectively against a fighting type. Um, and it ended up using Incinerate. I think, I, I, I guess that's strong, the strongest move that Zorua can learn this fire type. Um, I know Zor Zoroark can learn Flamethrower, but um, I don't know if Zorua can. Uh, otherwise, he probably would have put it on him. Um, and Murkrow comes in, and this was before the whole uh, prankster swag play ban. Um, and so I brought in my Manetric, or my Electrike, oh my goodness, to take a Thunder Wave and boost its special attack. And my, my Electrike is actually Choice Spec stiff. So um, I changed that afterwards because I don't really like being able to boost my special attack and then having to be stuck in Thunderbolt or any, any certain move because I would eventually have to switch out anyway. Um, but I attack myself in Confusion this time, uh, and Eevee gets a work up up to boost um, her or his uh, attack along with adaptability, which is just scary. Luckily, my Confusion ends this turn, and I'm able to get a Thunderbolt off, and Eevee goes down just like that. Um, I'm happy to say that I don't see a lot of Pokemon running Focus Sashes, and that makes life a lot easier. I decided to switch out this turn because I knew a Thunderbolt couldn't do all that much to a Snivy. And I bring in my Mimi, the Minchino, uh, to Encore it if it decided to do uh, a non-attacking move, which it did. Um, and the reason I anticipated a non-attacking move is because Superior kind of works the same way. Um, since Contrary isn't out yet, it doesn't really rely on attack so much. Um, I decided to paralyze it this time just to see, you know, if I could get some uh, paralysis hacks once I decide to switch out, because with that defense, there's nothing that Minchino could really do. I should have probably kept Minchino in, though, just because um, I could always encore that Snivy into Coil again, but um, this battle would just be prolonged so, so much if I just decided to attack it um, with a physical attack. So I brought in Electrike again because I figured it was uh, disposable, 
um, since my opponent's down to his last three Pokemon. And I luckily get a Paralysis Hacks here anyway, um, so Electrike can uh, finish off Snivy and move on to the next Pokemon. Um, he decides to bring in his uh, Ponyard this time because, of course, he wouldn't want to bring in Piplup. I don't know if he even knew that my Electrike was um, Choice Specs, but a Sucker Punch took it out anyway. It really wasn't that hard to do. Um, so I bring in my Mentino again to Encore that Sucker Punch, just so uh, he'd be unable to uh, pull it off. And um, like before, I decide to once... Uh, my opponent switches out Ponyard to use a uh, Thunder Wave just to also run that PP down on um, Sucker Punch in case he decided to stay in. <clears throat> and so, right now I just decided, why not? I'm just going to go ahead and attack that Piplup. And um, yeah, it went down and after that uh, my opponent decided to forfeit. Um, Minchino is actually really scary in Little Cup, and I've had a lot of fun using it um, online, on Showdown at least. Um, yeah, I mean, Sinchino is also one of my favorite Pokemon, so it's just a lot of fun to use Minchino in Little Cup. But yeah, that was my first Little Cup battle. I don't know how many of these I'm going to do, though, because I don't think Little Cup is all that popular. Or maybe it's just, you know, the times that I've been able to play. I haven't really been able to meet a lot of different people playing Little Cup, but it is an interesting uh, setup and I do enjoy it very much. So who knows, maybe I'll play it a little more and give it some more tries, but I hope you guys enjoyed this match and this uh, bundle of cuteness, 12 cute little Pokemon duking it out. Um, and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this battle, leave a comment and a like rating. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you would also like to Go visit GamersBench.com and check out our reviews and playthroughs of games that we have enjoyed. And uh, hopefully, you know, maybe it will convince you to buy them and try them yourself. Um, also, check out my Twitter channel. It is linked in the description. And I will catch you all for the next battle. Thanks for watching.